The androgen receptor is a transcription factor which binds DNA, but only at specific sequences. So the sequence thymine, guanine, thymine, thymine, cytosine, thymine is the site where it binds, an androgen response element. This sequence exists as a palindrome two neighboring sequences which are complementary and then could bind to each other separated by three nucleotides whose identity is not important. So any gene which possesses this androgen response element could then bind the uh, transcription factor of the androgen receptor and have its level of transcription altered by the presence of androgen hormones. Before binding androgen hormones, androgen receptors are located in the cytoplasm where they have associated with heat shock proteins. Upon binding the androgen hormone, which could be testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, or one of the adrenal androgens, the androgen receptor will dissociate from the heat shock protein, change shape, and then form a dimer composed of two androgen receptor proteins. It will travel to the nucleus and bind at the androgen response elements of specific genes, changing their levels of transcription. In addition to being able to bind to androgen receptors, which then move to the nucleus to change gene transcription, this is known as the genomic pathway of testosterone action. Testosterone, but interestingly not DHT or adrenal androgens, can also uh, interact with a protein in the cell membrane, a zinc transporter known as ZIP9. This is known as the non-genomic pathway because it does not involve the binding to DNA. Mutations in this protein are associated with cancers such as prostate and breast cancer.